strange disappearance was shrunk 100 times by his female classmate Anna. He was taken with her to the girl's toilet. This is so bizarre. After receiving a report from class monitor Julie, the teacher checked Anna's school bag with suspicion, but nothing was found. It turned out that Anna had hidden Nick, who was the size of her finger, in a secret place. Nick was going crazy. Julie, the whistleblower ended up worse off than Nick. She too was shrunk by an angry Anna. She was taken home and put in a hot pan. Looking at Julie, who was jumping around, Anna laughed out loud. <laughs> the two little people have become her toys for fun. She made them perform a play. If they don't do it well, they have to repeat it. And if they did well, they were punished. After a few days, Julie collapsed from the torture. Nick said he had to find a way to escape. Otherwise, they would both be tortured to death by Anna sooner or later. The next day, Nick found an excuse to go out with Anna. After they left, Julie rushed to her computer to send an email asking for help. Little did she know that this email would hasten her death. Anna accidentally fell while she was out. Nick took the opportunity to escape. Anna's search was unsuccessful. She returned home in a rage. She happened to see the email on her computer. She was furious. Then, she spoke spotted Julie, who was running away, and she lifted her foot and stomped on it, as if it were just a bug. The next day, Julie's brother, who had received the email, came to the house with the police. Julie's body was found in a rubbish bin. Everyone was shocked. Anna was a wanted man. She was still out looking for Nick. She saw the news on TV that she was wanted. She suddenly realizes the girl she had trampled to death was a living human being. But it was too late. Eventually, the stall owner found Nick. He restored him to his normal size. The vendor gave Nick something. A shrunken Anna. Anna said she was willing to accept any punishment. So Nick took her to the police station. She was brought to justice. Seeing Anna in her cage and panicking, Nick silently put on his headphones. Inside, he was at peace. Not everyone likes to bully the weak. Obedience through violence can only end up being a tragedy.